Hello, this is Jasmine Kim, second grade for worksheet number seven. So counting back, you count back to find the difference. So starting from four, you go back two times, four, three, two, leaving you with the answer, two. Number two, five minus one, you go back from five, four, leaving you with the answer, four. You go back three times from the number four, leaving you with one. And then six, you go backward three times from six, six, five, four, three, leaving you with three. Six, go backwards two times, leaving you with one. Seven, take away four, which would be three. And then five, take away two, would be three. Eight, take away six, would be two. And then nine would be two minus two, leaving you with zero, since it's the same number being subtracted by itself. And three, take away one, would be two. Six, take away zero, you would be six since you're taking away nothing from the original number. 10, take away three, which would leave you with seven. Seven, take away three, which would be four. Five, take away five, which would be zero, since it's the same number being subtracted by itself. Nine, take away six, would be three and then four minus three would be one eight take away two would be six and then seven minus five would be two subtraction write the missing numbers so there are two ways to figure this out. One is to guess and check. So seven minus what number would leave you with five? So if you take away two from seven, seven, six, five, you would end up with five. So you can get two from that method or you can see how much numbers you add from the number at the end to get with the first number. So 2 plus 5 is equal to 7, meaning that 2 would be your number. Number 2, 4 minus 3 is equal to 1, because 3 plus 1 is equal to 4. 9, take away 5 would equal 4, because 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. And then 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. 2 minus 2 would be 0, since it's the same number being subtracted by itself. 5 minus 2 would be 3. And then 5 minus 0 would be 5, because 5 take away nothing would still end up with 5. 8. 8 take away 5 would end up with 3. 5 take away 4 would equal 1. 4 take away 1 would equal 3. And then 9 minus 1 would equal 8. 3 minus 2 would equal 1. And then 10 minus 3 would equal 7. Lastly, 4 minus 1 would equal 3. Again, because 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, our first number. Think addition to subtract. 
adding and subtracting. So 5 plus 3 would add up to 8, which is over here. And then 8 minus 5, you would end up with the number 3, which is also here. Number 2. 4 plus 6 adds up to the number 10. And then 10 minus 4 would equal 6. 8 plus 1 adds to 9. And then 9 minus 8 is equal to 1. 2 plus 2 adds to 4. And then 4 minus 2 adds to 2. 7 plus 3 is 10. And then 10 minus 7 is 3. 10 plus 2 is 12. And 12 minus 2 is 10. 4 plus 5 is 9. And then 9 minus 4 is 5. 6 plus 2 is 8. And then 8 minus 6 is 2. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. 5 plus 5 would add up to 10, and 10 minus 5 would equal 5. For word problems, Helen cleaned 3 sandals and 5 boots. How many more boots than sandals did she clean? So S would be for sandals, and then 5, and then B would be for boots. Now you cancel the numbers out. And what you are left with is two, meaning that there were two more boots than sandals. There are eight slices of pizza on a plate. Ruth eats two slices and Parker eats four slices. How many slices of pizza are left? So this would be our pizza sliced into eight different pieces. Ruth eats one slice, two slices. And Parker eats four. One, two, three, four. Now you can see that there are two slices of pizza left. You could also simplify this to eight minus two minus four. Or in other words, eight minus 6, which is equal to 2. Asher put 6 cups on the table. His sister put 2 of them away. How many cups are left on the table? So you would draw 6 cups, and then you take away 2 cups, and you are left with 4 cups. So four cups are left on the table. Cameron eats seven red apples and four green apples. How many more red apples than green apples did he eat? So you would draw seven red apples and four green apples. Now you would cancel them out. leaving you with three more red apples than green apples. You could also simplify this to seven minus four, which would equal to three.